Well, the first minute of this next story, it will blow your mind. You are about to see a renegade group of scientists experimenting on their own bodies, some to make medicine, others just because. And they are filming it, posting it to YouTube and making money off of it. On your sides, Ann Schindler investigates and you can decide for yourself if the end justifies the means. I put a jellyfish gene inside my cells. I hacked my gut microbiome. I want to try to get as close to the top of the skin as possible. What I do is biohacking. And that is doing science and genetic engineering outside traditional environments. I think those are all really cool, really interesting, controversial. I think I got the skin. Part scientist, part stuntman. Do it, see what happens. Josiah Zayner commands an international audience as his own guinea pig. And give everybody a little glimpse into my life. The former NASA scientist and biochemistry PhD hacks his own DNA. Okay, we're gonna make an agros gel. And sells do-it-yourself gene editing kits online. For separating our DNA. The cost, $169. So that they can manipulate human cells and do biomedical experiments on them in their own home. Zayner's YouTube channel was deleted in December for violating terms of service, but he's hardly the most extreme. You're tapping the back of your hand and they had the thing with the ring, right? Inserted under the skin, often without anesthesia. These biometric implants are favored by so-called grinders, biohackers who essentially aspire to become DIY cyborgs. Some people are leaning towards sensationalism and some people are leaning towards actually making good data, and making good data is hard. For Gabriel Lacina, whose former Jacksonville lab is featured in a new Showtime documentary, Number two. biohacking is more about democratizing science than showmanship. I can see the flap. What we try to do is make things a little easier for people. We shouldn't just randomly cram needles into our body and see what happens. Lucina considers himself primarily a biologist, calling some of the more lurid biohacks splashy nonsense. Biohacking, extra quotation marks, um, is just doing biology, but sloppy. 620 microliters? That sounds about right. Which isn't to say he hasn't at times made his own splash. It wasn't supposed to be posted. That was just a friend who posted a picture and then everybody like freaked the f out. I'm going to eat your soul. <laughs> High profile experiments can help raise money for research, but also pose ethical dilemmas. Whew. Where the boundary is that I think biohackers should not cross, right? And uh, that line I think is when things start to get, you know, extremely harmful. This is experimental subject X. Even Zayner, who says his own genetic biohacks have turned him into a human-animal hybrid, believes some guardrails are necessary. I'm not trying to be a martyr. I'm not trying to risk or sacrifice my life, so. You know, the risks is within a, a reasonable tolerance. It's looking pretty good. But in a community where risk is rewarded. It doesn't look like there's any swelling or any abnormal redness. Discretion is the lesser part of valor. I don't know where that line should be drawn. Definitely don't ask me. <sighs> Ann Schindler. Mother First Coast News. Oh. On your side. Wow. I told you that story would blow your mind. Oh. Incredible. You can find that story, share it again with your friends, or find links to two recent documentaries on biohacking on our website. Just head to firstcoastnews.com or download the First Coast News app.